Hello and welcome to episode number four of season two of Art with Mr. Borja. I'm Mr. Borja. So I just want to say a huge thank you to all of the students and artists who have sent in their artwork from previous episodes. Again, I think it's cool to see all the creative ideas that you come up with. And honestly, they inspire me to get even more creative. So thank you so much for all of the cool artwork that you send in every single week. Here's a look at some of the artwork that artists have sent in from previous episodes. Let's check it out. As always, artists, if you would like your artwork showcased on next week's episode of Art with Mr. Borja, you can go ahead and send it on over to happydrawing123 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at Art with Mr. Borja and tag your artwork with the hashtag Art with Mr. Borja. Alrighty, friends. I know that I always say that art is for everyone. And this is going to go out to all the artists and students here at High Tech Elementary School in Point Loma. The Wonderful Parent Association here at school reached out to me and asked, Hey, could we do something to celebrate the fall and have it also have to do with art? I said, yes, absolutely. So starting today, starting today in this week's episode, you're going to be taking part in a three episode long art series titled Arttoberfest. Now, 
if you would like your artwork showcased for everybody in the world to see, you can send it on over to happydrawing123 at gmail.com. And if you would also like your artwork showcased here at our school at HTE, you could send it on over to our parent association. You can read or you can ask a grown-up at home to read you all the info that you need in order to turn in your artwork to the parent association in the description below. So check that out as well. I know that was a lot of info, but without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started with our Arttoberfest. Here we go. The first thing we need to do is go over our art rules. Rule number one, respect each other and the materials. If there's anybody at home that would like to join you in this art project, you can ask them to. Also, it is your responsibility to take care of all the materials that you use for art. Rule number two is come prepared to work. I want to challenge you to try and do the art for the whole time. However, if you need a break, it is okay. You can pause the video and take a little wiggle break, then return when you're ready. Rule number three is be creative and use your imagination. In art, there is no right or wrong answer. I want to see all the creativity that you have. So please, please, please try and do all kinds of creative things that you come up with. And last but not least, rule number four, again, clean up all materials. The materials are your responsibility. Anything that you use, like your pencils, crayons, markers, color pencils, anything that you use for art, you have to clean up yourself. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our art. So for today, I am going to have us draw a pumpkin in a wagon. So the wagon is going to use some pretty easy shapes, some straight lines, some curved lines, and two circles for the wheels. So here's how I'm going to draw them. I'm gonna draw the wheels first. Actually, I could draw the wagon itself first, okay? Here we go. It's gonna be a straight horizontal line like this. I'll wait for you to draw that line. Then you're gonna draw two C shapes. One on each side of that line like this. One and two. Then you're gonna bring it down a little bit on one side like this. And curve to the other side like that. And curve up. And there's the shape of your wagon. Now the wagon is going to have two wheels on this side, the stuff that's at the front of the picture. So I'm going to draw a circle right here and another one over here like this. I want to draw it really, really big. So I'm going to use a shape or I guess the size of the pumpkin is going to be pretty tall like that. It's going to come up to almost the top of the page up here. And the way that I draw pumpkins is using easy shapes like ovals. So here's how I'm going to do the first part of the pumpkin. I'm going to start right here and draw part of an oval like this right in the center of the wagon, like that. I'll wait for you to draw the oval. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and make another part of an oval. And everything I do to one side, I do to the other, like this. I'll wait for you to draw those. And you can keep on adding more to that. 
like this. And again, everything you do to one side of the pumpkin, you do to the other. Like that. And I think I can put one, two, one on each side over here like this. I'll start from over here, like that. And like that. So that's your pumpkin inside of the wagon. Now you can draw the stem of the pumpkin. I usually draw it kind of like this. Kind of looks like a volcano. Draw a circle like that and then bring it down like that. A cool thing that I learned about the pumpkins while I was doing research for this episode was that pumpkins are fruits they are not vegetables I guess that made sense I always thought that they were a vegetable instead of a fruit alright so now you have the pumpkin in your wagon and you have the two tires you can go ahead and connect the tires to the frame or the wagon itself like this just go like that then you can make another wheel because it's on the other side of the wagon like this and like that now the reason I drew the pumpkin in the wagon on this side of the paper and left this part blank is because I'm going to give you the option right now. If you would like, you can draw another one of these over here and you got two of them. Or if you would like to get challenged today, you can try to draw this tractor that I want to show you. And the tractor, it's going to use some pretty easy shapes. I'm going to walk you through it if you want to do the tractor. If you don't want to do the tractor, you don't have to. So the tractor that I want to draw has two big rear tires. And they look like this. Huge circle. Like that. I will go ahead and wait for you to draw that. Then the next part, you're going to draw the fender of the tractor like this. So it's almost like another circle, but not quite. Like that. Then you can go ahead and bring it back up like this you could probably keep going a little bit more like that now on a tractor usually the front two tires are a little bit smaller or actually a lot smaller than the rear ones so I will draw them like Hmm. Like this. Connect these two like that. Bring the line out this way. You're not going to draw over this circle because this is the tire. And you want to be able to see the details on the tire. So I drew this little line here, but I'm going to bring it up straight. And this is going to be the front of our tractor. And it's going to come out like this. It's going to go down a little bit. And across. So all of these are easy lines and shapes. Just go ahead and take your time.
And again, if it is going a little bit too quickly for you, you can always pause the video and rewind it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and draw the seat of our tractor. Like that. And bring it down right here like this. I could draw a little seat cushion right here. And on the tractor, it's gonna need the steering wheel, so I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a straight line going up like this. And an oval like that. So that's the seat, that's the steering wheel. Yeah, that's pretty much about all we have for the tractor. If you want to add some like details to the front of it, you can. I'm going to draw some of these little holes. You don't have to draw these holes if you don't want to. I just like the way they look. It needs a gas pedal over here. I think that's pretty much all we have for the tractor. What you could do as well is you could draw the other wheels that are on the other side of the tractor, like that. And like this. There is no right or wrong answer though. Also draw the inside of the wheels like this. Add another circle. And this one you can put it right in the middle, like that. So I think that's what we have for the the tractor. I can connect them together like this. I could draw like a hook. Put a little string to it like that. Alrighty. I think I am done drawing my tractor and pumpkin. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab my other materials. I'm gonna go ahead and use the markers here. If you have crayons or color pencils, that works as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and use these. And I want to share that if you would like your artwork showcased, you can always send it on over to happydrawing123 at gmail.com. If you are at High Tech Elementary School and you want your artwork to be posted outside somewhere, you can send it on over as well. So let's see, the wagon, I want. I'm going to color the wagon red because red is one of my favorite colors. Now, if you want to color it in one solid color, that's fine. If you want to use a lot of colors, that is totally fine as well. I'm going to use this technique of just drawing parallel lines like this. And I am taking my time because I want the artwork to look my very best. If you want to use a different technique to color in the wagon, that is okay as well. There is no right or wrong answer. I want to share another fun fact that I learned while doing the research for this episode. And it's about the pumpkin here. Did you know that almost all the parts of a pumpkin are edible. That means that you can eat almost everything from a pumpkin. I don't think you can eat the stem though. Or I'm sure you could, I'm sure it's not gonna taste that good though. I don't know though. I thought that was really interesting when I was doing the research. Again, take your time. All right. Hmm. 
Hmm. I might want to color it a little bit darker than that because that looks pink instead of red. I'm just going to go ahead and go the opposite way with my parallel lines. Again, if you don't want to do this part, you don't have to. If you're using a different technique, that's fine. I just like the way that this looks because it shows the audience and it shows everybody out there that I took my time with it. I know that it does take a while to do this, but again, you can always pause the video if you need to take a little bit of a wiggle break. I hope your days have been going well. I hope your week has been going well. I hope that you've had a chance to help out your grown-ups at home with like some of the chores, like washing dishes, sweeping and mopping the floor, you know, all that good stuff. And like I say, it's good to be a helper. It's good to ask. I like asking if grown-ups need help. Like, hey, grown-ups, do you need some help with like, cooking? Do you need some help with cleaning? It's good to ask. Now this part of the wagon here, I wanna color it in one solid color. And the wheels, I guess I can color them in black. I'm just gonna color it in all in. You don't have to if you don't want to. If you wanna use a different technique, that's fine. I encourage you to use a different technique actually because I want to be able to see all the creative ideas when you submit your work and your work is posted up for everyone else to enjoy. Like that. I'm gonna color the pumpkin. I want orange for the pumpkin because another fun fact that I learned is that almost all pumpkins are orange. There are some that are white. There are some that are green, I think or have some like green on it. I think I'm going to color it in using the pointillism technique. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. If you want to color it in one solid color, that's fine. If you want to color it in green, go for it. If you want to color it in in rainbow colors, I'm okay with that. I, I actually think that would look awesome. There is no right or wrong answer. I'm sure everything that you do or anything that you do, I'll be very, very proud of and excited to see. Yeah, I, I like the way that this is coming out. Once again, I'd like to say thank you for all of the students and artists that have sent in their artwork for me to showcase. I think it's really cool to see the creativity that you all show in your artwork. I hope you can continue to, to turn in your work. I'm sure me and everybody in the world would like to see that. Take your time with this, folks. It's going to take me a while to color this whole thing in. That's okay, though. I got plenty of time.
not really actually I don't have a lot of time to do this but you know what that's okay because I can always take a break then I can come back to it later in fact I'm getting a little bit tired right now and I think I got some of the like a lot of energy because I just had the coffee I'm gonna go ahead and take a break for a second or two go do something else and I will come back to my artwork in a little bit alrighty artists as you can tell I've already colored in the pumpkin and it took me a long time to do it but that's okay again if you feel like you need a break go ahead and pause the video and take a break I also colored in the stem and the wheels of the tractor and added some details here but now I'm gonna go ahead and get back to it again if you colored yours a different color that's fine if you have a rainbow pumpkin that's okay if you had a different color wagon a different color tire again I encourage you to have your artwork look completely different than what I did all right what I'd like to do now is I'd like to color in the tractor here and I think I'm going to, hmm, I will go ahead and use the same, same technique as the wagon here. Here we go. I'm just gonna draw these parallel lines. That means that they will never touch. And if they do, that's okay, not a big deal. I want to share some more fun facts that I learned about pumpkins when I was doing research on them. I learned that they can grow on any continent except for Antarctica. I thought that was pretty cool. And again, if you drew a tractor, great. If you chose to draw two pumpkins and two wagons instead of a tractor, that's fine too. There is no right or wrong answer. As long as you're having fun with it. Just take your time with it. And again, if you would like your artwork showcased for all of HTE and the community to see, go ahead and send it on over to your teacher. They know exactly what to do with your artwork and how to turn it into me and our wonderful parent association here at High Tech Elementary. If you are not a High Tech Elementary student, that is okay. You could still turn in your artwork. Just send it on over to happydrawing123 at gmail.com and I'd be happy to showcase it on next week's episode. Again, folks, you want to take your time with it. We are in no hurry. Another fact I learned about the pumpkins, or about the pumpkin seeds this time, is that the oldest seed of pumpkins were found in Mexico. I think they were about 9,000 years ago is when they were, I guess, grown, or I don't know what that number is, but that's a long time ago. That's pretty old. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the other lines. And if you decided to draw a different, or if you decided to color in your tractor a different color, that is okay. I've seen green tractors. I've seen yellow tractors, blue. If you wanna color yours a rainbow tractor, go for it. I'd actually like to see that. I think that would look really cool. I 
I wanted to share that there are a couple teachers, I think all the teachers here at High Tech Elementary, know what the next episode art is going to be. I want to tell them to not tell you just yet. I want to keep that a surprise. What I will tell you is that it has to do with the fall. I think I'm done. Oh wait, no, I'm not done yet. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these vines, I think, to this pumpkin here. There is no right or wrong answer. You don't have to add these if you don't want to. I just wanted to. Hmm. I feel like this looks a little bit silly because it's floating up in the air. There's no ground on here. Alright, I will go ahead and draw ground on it. You can use the marker or the pencil that you chose to draw with to add that detail. If you don't want to add a ground, you don't have to. I'm going to go ahead and add it like this. Like that. And normally in a pumpkin patch, or the ones that I've been to, they have a lot of dirt. So I'm just going to go ahead and color it in like this with the color brown if you want to color it in like grass color it in the grass that's fine if you don't want to add a ground you don't have to all of these little details are completely optional I also learned while I was doing the research that pumpkins are one of the most popular crops here in the United States. I think we really love our pumpkin. All right, almost done here. Now, I don't know if everybody here loves pumpkins, but that's okay. I wanted to share one last thing while I wrap up the floor of my artwork here. Is that the pumpkins are really cool fruits. Yes, they're fruits. The reason they're so cool is because they use them for almost everything like soups, they use them in, in desserts, uh, all kinds of other meals, juices, and one of my all time favorite things, pumpkin spice lattes at Starbucks. Yep, they are delicious. I also really like pumpkin pie. I also like the color of pumpkins. Again, take your time. Cool. Think I'm done with my artwork. I, I wanna challenge you because I think you all are probably gonna have a lot of empty blank space right here. 
If you want to color in a sky, you can. If you want to color in some trees um, with some warm color leaves, that means the trees have leaves that are red, orange, and yellow. These are the colors that the leaves change in the fall. You can use some of those. You don't have to, it's completely up to you. If you want to add a sun, great. If you want to add some clouds, sure. There is no right or wrong answer. I'm going to leave that part completely up to you. And I'd like to see all the creative ideas that you come up with, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and head on over to the writing of my drawing. Nope. I goofed. Forgot one important thing my initials here R B for Ricardo Borja now I'm gonna head on over to my writing of my artwork so once again if you are writing anything you always start on the left side and sentences always start with a capital letter here we go Hmm, let's see, what do I want to write about? I just drew a pumpkin in a wagon. Ah, I know. You can write whatever you'd like about your drawing. So here we go. I'm gonna write this. My, my, remember to add a finger space in between all your words pumpkin finger space is finger space the finger space no more room that's okay no big deal just go over to the next line my pumpkin is the size Finger space of finger space, and you are going to compare your pumpkin size to whatever you wish. And you can write more about it, you can just write one sentence if you'd like. I'm gonna show all these lines here because there is no limit of what you can write. My pumpkin is the size of, let's see, what do I wanna make my pumpkin the size of? It's pretty big, ah, okay. The size of, you don't have to write this if you don't want to, you can come up with your own idea. A car. So then you can write whatever else you'd like. If you want to write a car, you can write that. If you want to say that your pumpkin is the size of an elephant, you could put that too. It's totally up to you. Alrighty. Now I think I'm all done with my artwork. Alrighty, artist, at this point, I would like you to not forget Art rule number four, which is clean up all materials. So please, please, please do so. Go ahead and grab all your materials that you used, making sure that if you used markers that your tops are on them nice and tight so that they don't dry out. You wanna keep everything organized so that you know where all the materials are. You're going to need them for next week's Part two of Arttoberfest. Now I'm all done. Alrighty, artists, that's about all the time we have for our first episode of Arttoberfest. If you would like your artwork showcased for the HTE community to see, you can go to the description underneath this video and read all about how to enter that to our parent association. If you are not a part of our HTE community yet, that is okay. Art is still for everybody, and you can also turn in your artwork and have it showcased on next week's episode by sending it on over to happydrawing123 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at artwithmrborja, 
tag your artwork with the hashtag Art with Mr. Borja. If you like the video, you can go ahead and make sure to give it a thumbs up. You can also share the video with anybody else that you think would like to do art. And if you have not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications to let you know when next week's episode comes on. All right, friends, that's about all the time I have for today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day, and I will see you next time. Happy drawing.